Welcome to the episode that has the potential to be not the season finale, preferred, or the potential to be the season finale, not preferred. We have five games to go in this championship season. We sit four points outside the playoffs after a strong end to the season, as we usually tend to do in this save. We've certainly made a habit of ending significantly stronger than we've started. What a late playoff push. We got big 5-0 win against Blackburn at the end of the last episode, which was crucial, really, in the hunt for that sixth spot because it brings our goal difference very much in contention with theirs. Sunderland's is better, but we're only a point behind them. Four off Blackburn with Blackpool to start. 23rd place Blackpool, who we demolished last time we played them. Wednesday, who we beat yesterday, we mentioned at the time they went 21 games without a win. They've gone 41 games now and still only won once this season. How do you do that? 17 draws and 23 defeats. They are down, already relegated. Blackpool are 14 points from safety with 15 points to go. So we could relegate Blackpool in this first game. Then we have Norwich, 12th. Still an outside chance of a playoff spot for Norwich. And then... Third place, Sheffield United, who destroyed us last time we played them. And they are hunting for an automatic promotion spot. So, game at a time. Fingers crossed. Three points at a time. Blackpool to begin. Game one, we needed five stars out of five stars yesterday. We got them. I need ten stars out of ten stars today. Chris Hennett and Emmanuel Dennis. Lovely turn. Lanetti played in. Lanetti's actually... That's a challenge. It's a strong challenge. It's an unfair one, apparently. And we're going to get a free kick here on the edge of the box. And this is very much Ennis Bardi range, isn't it? Yellow card for Blackpool's captain there, Connolly. We walked all over them last time we played them, and they didn't really stand a chance. It's not very often anyone really stands a chance against an Ennis Bardi free kick either. But Grimshaw's done very well. It was a convincing victory against Blackpool, as we say, last time we played them. And we've started off in the same fashion today. Emmanuel Dennis with an excellent header. And we are 1-0 in front. Good. Going to call it nicely to Kowasi. And Joseph has options. Kyle Joseph with the effort. Needed the save. Really strong effort from Kyle Joseph. He has scored good goals against us in the past. And he came close to doing, to doing so again there. Blackpool need the win. Otherwise they are down. And let's be honest, even if they do get the win, they're still 99.99999% going down. Luton have just taken a 1-0 lead against Sunderland, it just told me at the top of the screen. So that is a fellow playoff chaser losing. As these playoff chasers continue to be winning, but somehow still only by one goal. Oh, that's a poor pass from Crescene. We won't be under more pressure. More again. Faldem Arsen again. Saved nicely. Corner Blackpool. They want to stay in the division. They're trying their absolute dandest to get themselves back in this game. They need five wins from five. They need pretty much everybody else around them to lose five games from five to stay in the league. It's not going to happen. But fair play to them for still trying hard. Lovely challenge by Finnegan. Doesn't quite work out for him though. Dennis rolls that into the path of Lanetti. who will look to do the same for Fafana, who is onside here. Oh, and Grimshaw's at it again. What a save. It's not the first time Grimshaw's made a stop like that against us, is it? He was sensational in an earlier game against Blackpool. It's not a great clearance. Kirk should win this and nod it down to a teammate. Cassine finds Lobato. It's on his favoured left. Oh, if that goes in, it really is a challenger for goal of the season. But bar and out. That's a great through ball. Joseph's in here. Post and out. Well, woodwork hit at either end of the ground now. Blackpool very much still in this and look like they're going to cause us more problems before the end of the game. We need to make sure that we double our advantage as soon as possible. Oh, and that would have been a perfect time for Fana for you to go and nod that home, mate. Well, in Carroll. Oh, 
Not such a good pass though, Carroll. Joseph's in. Joseph scores. Blackpool fight on. 46th minute. First of 45 plus one, I suppose, more accurately. 1-1 one, one the scoreline. Nonchalantly just strokes it out wide to Manuel Dennis. Here's Ennis Bardi. Fafana's made the run. Fafana's been found and he's beaten his man. And surely Fode Fafana scores from here. 2 1 Cambridge United. There have been times this season that Fafana, in situations like that, either A, hasn't found the touch, B, has been slow in the turn, or C, has missed the target. None of those. Just what we needed from Fode Fafana. Touch. Turn and finish. Lovato. Vardy. Look for Lovato, actually. Via Fafana. And Lovato with the space. Lovato for a third. Touch and turn, but not the finish. Looking for Fafana. Nine times out of ten. Oh, and Sami. Good footwork. Finds the pass as well. Fafana. Still going. Oh, that is a top draw finish. And that is his 25th championship goal of the season. Fode Fofana might not be the top goal scorer in the division, but he's certainly one of and has very much put himself in the shot window here. If we don't go up, we're very much at risk of losing our star man. Corner Blackpool. Goalkeeper is up on all sorts. I have a funny feeling. Not going to work for them. Although they will try again with a second corner. Number 32 is forward. Number 32 is aimed for again. And number 32 is not found. So Gertsen just needs to bring this down. And maybe with a big lump, there's a chance of another... That's going to go in. There's a chance of another goal. Oh my goodness. From well inside his own half. Oh, no, Sigurdsson scores what could be a late inclusion for goal of the season. How far out is that? He's well inside his own half. Not even as far as the centre circle. And he's picked out a dreamy finish. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Gary. Oh, he's tried. He's tried the little cheeky one. It's not going to work. We've... Bossed and battered Blackpool again. And unfortunately for them, that is Blackpool in League One next season. We have relegated them. A goal from significantly inside his own half from Arnold Sigurdsson. Tops off a very good day for Cambridge United. I'll be honest. I have to be honest. I was very concerned when they equalised on the brink of half-time. I Just wasn't sure... Done whether we'd actually be able to turn it around and put in a second half performance but just as we've put in a second half of the season performance for the last three Thank years you. we've put in a second half performance there and gotten the result our first question from the press conference today comes from Davidengi it says Mr Monk with the team playing good football and getting some important points how confident are you in securing a playoff spot well as we've moved into seventh and Blackburn have lost again on match day 42, the gap is one point to the playoffs. So at this moment in time, very. However, we do have Norwich and Sheffield United left to play today. So that confidence might well be misplaced at this stage until we've played those games. Norwich City won their last game. They're 12th in the table, which is definitely a poor season by their standards. But with players like Solis and Daka in the team and Sorensen as well, they have the capabilities to cause us problems and undoubtedly will. With Borja Sainz on the bench to call upon as well. We're going to have to be at our best continually as we move forward. The back line gets ever stronger. The front line gets ever stronger. And the bit in between in the middle is certainly keeping itself ticking over well. Not going to make any changes at this stage, I don't believe. With the game against Norwich, I kind of want everybody that I trust on the pitch. And on the pitch is everybody that I trust. I'm sorry, Sir Gerson. I know you just scored a phenomenal goal. 
but it's bench for you again. It's not the best of balls, actually. Oh, it's not the best of balls from Luke ben uh, Liam Bennett either. Man, that we sold to Norwich. Agent Bennett. Might just have helped. Oh, Cambridge United take the lead. I can't believe we haven't taken the lead there. Well, just as their finish at the other end was poor, so was my execution at the other. Fafana's up. Oh, dear, Barté. Jesus. What a header that was. McKengo caught on it as well as I was trying to power the pass up. He's won it back, though, McKengo. It's superb work. He's beaten his man as well, and Labato's away. Fafana needs to make me the run. It's been a little bit lackadaisical in getting himself in a decent position here, but Fode Fafana could be back for me here. And he is. And the ball has squeezed through. Cambridge lead by a goal to nil at the Abbey Stadium in front of the south stand and Fofana is the man that scores his 26th goal of the championship season to give us the lead and nearly balls that one up as well I have that thank you Taka trying to twist and turn and getting it wrong Labato looking to play the ball over the top and getting it right Fofana has one man in front of him will go for the world here to try and catch the keeper out didn't expect it love but was able to get to it in the end good effort from Fofana that Oh, and as was that too. This could fall for anyone. So close to a second goal for Cambridge. Ennis Bardi will get this across here to Lanetti. We'll keep it moving down the right-hand side. Lobato could be there for me again, and is, and beats his man. Lobato with the delivery, sneaking in the back post. Could have been Ennis Bardi, but cleared away by Norwich. They're living a charmed life at the back. It's 1-0, and really, if it weren't for the goalkeeper, certainly it would have been too. Well in, Kirk. That's an excellent challenge. McKengo will lay it in front of Lobato, who has Ennis Bardi making moves. It's Ennis Bardi who we look for. It's Ennis Bardi who we don't find. The referee has given us the free kick. We'll take it short. Here comes Corbani. And they're looking for Fofana. He'll look for Ennis Bardi, who's in the gap. Ennis Bardi getting away. Ennis Bardi can't extend the advantage, but can maybe set up a goal that can extend the advantage. The delivery from the corner is good. Fofana's header is not. Lovely ball down the line from Kamara to Liam Bennett. Norwich on the attack at the beginning of the half. Bennett picks up Montori at the back post very well indeed. This might be another case of definitely going to need multiple goals to ensure that we get the victory. They make a change right at the beginning of the second half. Gibbs on for Liam Lee. So one former Cambridge man is off the pitch. They do still have Liam Bennett on. And as is correctly pointed out, by uh, my live chat in the moment Czech Diabate at centre back for them is also another former Cambridge player in this save but we've gotten the better of their defensive line once we're hoping to get the better of their defensive line another time or two if we can as long as they don't get the better of ours at all then we'll get all the points that we're looking for Bardi needs a sharp turn inside can't find it free kick Norwich Away, please, Kirk. It's up at least. It's not fully away. Try and get everybody out here. Lanetti's going to try and slow them down and force their hand in a certain direction. That hasn't worked for us. Here's Kamara. It's a lovely turn. It's a brilliant. This is surely going to be an excellent goal for Norwich City. Fair play. That was very good indeed from Kamara. Their second highest rated player. And proving it right there with that turn. That's just superb. Skips away from Cassian. Can't get anyone else near him. Fair enough. Nice. Lobato. Fofana. Fode Fofana. Good save by Love. Oh, and I nearly got there to tackle Liam Bennett as well. Goalkeeper pulling out a big save when he needed to. I thought that was the game right then and there. That was us getting our lead back again. It was not to be. We cannot switch off defensively either. Just because we fancy ourselves going forward. We've had barely any chances. In fact, that might only be the only chance of this second half so far. It's been all Norwich City in this second 45. And at this present moment in time, continues to be Montoya. And Daka. And here's Sidibe. And Gibbs. Lanetti sticks a toe in. Sorensen and Sidibe still. Lanetti snapping at heels, getting himself in the way, and then gets the ball too. Counter of sorts is on. Fafana needs to make me the run. He hasn't, but here comes the fullback. Does he go inside to then go outside to then go into the middle? 
Fafana needs to win this. He has done, but he's not found a team. No, he has found a team here. Oh, Jesus Christ, McKengo. What was that, mate? Well, there goes that move. Liam Bennett. What a delivery. What a save. Quickly. Needs to be quickly. Needs to be now. Needs to be quickly. Oh, touch is dead. It's going to be a 1-1 draw against Norwich City. Their equaliser was of the highest quality. Their second half performance was of the highest quality. And we just had no answer to it going the other way. One opportunity that was very well saved by the keeper and fair enough. Blackburn, I can't see them there. We don't know at this stage. They've got Leicester next though. But we've got Sheffield United. You, A second press conference question to bring to you from Kumi says, Emmanuel Dennis has proven to be somewhat of a late bloomer. Has he surpassed your expectations and how long can he keep playing at the top level of his game? He has been a late bloomer and he's been very, very good for us this season. In fact, he's our third top goal scorer and second most creative player, or productive player with 10 goals and 10 assists. He earned himself a contract extension of a year and you can see why, Emmanuel Dennis. Lobato is suspended for this next fixture against Sheffield United because of uh, accumulative yellow cards. He misses this game. Press conference wise, we absolutely need to go to this Thanks, to try and boost guys. the morale. We'll concentrate on ourselves. We absolutely ready? haven't given up on the chance of a playoff spot. We'll focus on the performance. We obviously don't underestimate a side like Sheffield United ever. Their team is going to be very, very good. Simic up top with Koita. They're in third still, chasing West Bromwich Albion in second. As Leicester City, I'm sure, are promoted and maybe even champions by this point. We had just been pipped into the playoffs by Sunderland after the last round of fixtures. They were in sixth on goal difference ahead of us. However, Blackburn had not played their match day 43 yet. And I haven't seen how they got on on that match day. Just throw Alejo in to then throw Sigurdsson in. And then actually, to be honest, it will be Samiento that we throw in, not Sigurdsson. So Samiento will start on the right. Dennis will start on the left. It's the obvious change to make. Will we miss Lobato? He's got 19 goal contributions this season. Fafana's up to 76 rated. I'd like to be up to sixth place. Samiento's won that back. Holds off the defender really well. I mean, Fafana is in there. If the cross can find him. She very nearly did. Jose Fontan, the man to clear it away. Another former Cambridge United player. We've had a lot of players through the door in this save. We've had a lot of players out the door as well. We keep coming up against those that have been snapped up by sides that were in a loftier position at the time. Oh, my God. Nailed there. Sides are in a loftier position at the time. Obviously, Sheffield United is still in a loftier position to take away our better players. It's something that we fear might well happen next season as well if we aren't able to get ourselves into the Premier League. They took the advantage there this time. Here's Cristea in the box. But Corbani is going to do the job. It's going to be such a tough game here at Bramall Lane. Sheffield United chasing that automatic promotion spot. We obviously know what we're chasing with regards to that playoff spot. Oh, if only we could have beaten Norwich, we would have been definitively in the playoffs after that last round of fixtures, at least until Blackburn played their game. Corbani, I'll look on the floor for Fafana this time. His touch lets him down. It's not great, but Lanetti's turn is decent. And here's Emmanuel Dennis, who will look to step away. Then find Fafana. Brilliant turn this time. Fone Fafana. Gerbic with a brilliant stop. That had to be 1-0. There's no excuse. That's got to go in. Koita. Just too good. The first real opportunity Sheffield United have had. But they have the clinical ability to take it. Just work down the right-hand side. And then into the middle. And Koita has done that against us before. He's just sometimes untackleable, uncatchable and undeniable. He is inevitable for this Sheffield United side. Lanetti, Bardi, Fafana. Oh, it was the right thing to try. 
Good movement. Lanetti will find Crescene. And Lanetti again. Quickly. Fafana. Beat your man. Beat your man, Fode. Score the goal, Fode. Hit the target, Fode. Come on, pal. Right when we need the big performance, we're not getting it from the man up top. Kicking a sweet ass time down this wing. They're getting lucky with the eventual ball they put in as well. Good save. Corner Sheffield United. Oh, we're up against it. Oh my god, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. I had nowhere to go. I, I if I'd have tried a clearance. If I'd have tried a clearance, it just would have gotten blocked. I had to try and do something. What I did try didn't work. Oli Arblaster makes it 2-0 Sheffield United. Lanetti, Bardi, spread through that gap. Sarmiento. Nope. They're the sort of balls that against almost every other side in this division would comfortably make it through. But against this side, here and now, they don't. Coiter seals the deal. 3-0 Sheffield United. It's not going to be the final nail in the coffin. But that nail is halfway in. Run for me, pal. Oh, my God. Everything we've tried today hasn't worked. Sunderland have just equalised to go 2-2 against Swansea. So they're only going to be a point above us as we head into the season finale tomorrow. The goal difference will be four better than ours, however. We don't yet know what happened with Blackburn on the last match day. They've got Leicester at home this match day, Blackburn. So you imagine they've lost that. To lose is one thing. But to lose 3-0 when goal, goal difference is so important for us in this playoff push is borderline unforgivable. Not necessarily for the defensive players either because it, it's not the three I have an issue with. Or, you know, the four I have an issue with as Coitus scores a hat-trick. It's the nil. It could have been 4-2. It could have been 4-3. Oh. That's the difference between us going from a playoff chasing side to an automatic promotion chasing side. The difference is still sizable between us and those that are in the just dropped down from the Premier League category. Some questions regarding the match. Team has to come first. Junior Firpo's not been playing much, but there's absolutely a reason for that because Crescene has been better and is better. That'll and be as all. we end today's episode, we look cautiously at the league table, fearing... Oh, Sammy Ento's up to 77. Fearing the worst. We are three points behind Blackburn. Who, sure, surely they didn't beat Leicester. Did they? They beat Leicester. No, they lost three 0 to Leicester, so they won that. They won their last game. Oh yeah, two 0 against QPR. We're ninth. There are five of us. Cardiff. Ourselves, Luton, Sunderland, Blackburn. Five of us going for that sixth spot. We have in the next episode, in the season finale, Birmingham and Coventry. Birmingham City and Coventry City sit between us and a playoff spot potentially. But any number of those sides could make it into that playoff spot. Question is, which one of us will? Join me for an undoubtedly uh, rather harsh, nail-biting season finale tomorrow. Don't miss it, will you? I'll see you later.